Hello everybody, it's Andre from the Eagles Off Field Guide. Had a lot of questions about utilizing smart notes and I wanted to give a general overview of how I would set up smart notes uh, as opposed to regular auto notes. So uh, smart notes are available in version 20 uh, going forward and I want to give you a general idea of how I would use those. So imagine we're going to be doing a crown prep today and I'm going to show you how I would typically do my notes. So I click on my tooth number. I go down here to my drop down and I go to notes history. Immediately that fires that up and notice how it automatically makes this a chart note. If you do that, uh, if you make notes from any other place in the software, it may not come up as a chart note. It may come up as a general note. So I start as a chart note by starting from my chart. Notice that it automatically has tooth number 15 uh, because I clicked on tooth number 15 before I started my, writing my notes. Now I'm going to go to auto notes. Now, the way I have my system set up is I have auto notes, just standard auto notes written with a AN in front of it. And then I have my smart notes written with a SN in front of it. So I'm going to click on my smart notes for this uh, crown with buildup. Now I've done this so that I can combine both my auto notes for the crown and my auto notes for um, the buildup in one note. I'm going to use that and I'm going to show you what happens. And then I'm going to go back a step. So if you notice that this is not like your typical auto note where you would just be filling in the blanks, what smart notes allows you to do is to automatically have choices to fill in those notes. I'm going to take you a step back so I can show you what the smart notes look like. You can see that I have these keywords in brackets and those keywords actually allow you to have those things fill in where they are is under list and under smart notes. And you can see here, I've got a lot of uh, these sort of hot buttons or uh, keywords. And then I'm going to show you what some of those look like. So for crown type, since we're working on a crown, I have my keyword as crown type and I have my choice saying what type of crown I'm going to have. Inside that, I actually have all of the types of crowns that I have. So the name is crown type. It's going to ask me what type of crown I want. And then here is that keyword, that prompt text. You can see what it looks like when it's actually part of the auto note. And then I have all the types of crowns that we would do in the office. For demonstration purposes, I've got a lot of different choices here. But you can see I've got a cast gold crown. I've got an Emacs crown that's chair side. I've got an Emacs crown that's lab made, a porcelain fused to high noble metal that's laboratory made, a zirconia crown that we make chair side, and a zirconia crown that's uh, lab fabricated. Your, your choices would be based on what your office does. I can add more to that list. Now, I want to OK that, and I can just show you. I also have all of my anesthesias. And there's all the anesthesias that are possible and you can actually clean this list up down to the things that you actually do in your office. So now let's go back to that auto note. Go to auto note and go to crown with buildup. Let's use that. Now what's happening is it's asking me to fill in these uh, blanks. So patient presented for crown and build up on tooth number. Now um, I can actually put multiple tooth numbers if I want. So let's just say we were working on tooth number 15. So I'm going to use that 15. And then why are we doing this? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, what risk factors does this patient have? And I can say none based on what I looked at the medical history, or I can actually pick one. And you can see I've actually created a list of typical risk factors. And so one of which is see medical history. If it's a long list, I could just do that. And I could comment as needed. And then uh, did the patient take their pre-medication? All right, I don't need a note because they did. If I want to do a blood pressure, 120 over 80, replace that. Um, who accompanied the patient? Uh, the patient came by themselves, not necessary. And if I needed to write a name, I could, but I'm going to leave that blank. Uh, how uh, did, I mean, did we place topical anesthesia? Yes, we did. And what anesthetic did we use? We use carbocane, 3% plain, and we used three of those and we did it through infiltration, all right? And these, I'm gonna leave blank. So I'm just gonna hit replace, 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 replace. All right, and I'm gonna come back and take those out. Who, um, who placed the anesthesia? And this is, if you have a hygienist who places your anesthesia, let me go back one previous. Um, 
who places the anesthesia, you can actually go back and um, change if it's not the provider who's doing it, it could be somebody else. Uh, and then um, was nitrous used? And then how much nitrous? We're gonna say none was used. And then we prep the tooth for a um, zirconia lab fabricated crown. And um, we placed cord and the shade was a two and stump shade as needed the stump shade let's call it a three i don't know what i'm talking about here but you guys will know that we uh cemented it in with temp bond and we sent this out to uh sun dental labs and we get that back in 14 days and the filling the core buildup was with uh key tech silver and the patient tolerated treatment very well and they were cooperative and nothing there and reviewed the treatment with the patient at chair side and comment uh, hygiene comments as needed nothing necessary dentist comments i can write anything that i wanted here for the comments from the provider and then which hygienists work with the patient and I would make sure that they're forced to put a, 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 um, a license number and the provider who did the procedure and the license number. And then when they need to come back for a hygiene visit for, and then they're going to take uh, four bite wings that time. And then when they're going to come back for the restorative visit, which is in 14 days. And I'm done. Now my notes complete, everything's in there, and that's how you use the new smart notes.